Hello and welcome back to the next part of my custom sword tutorials. This time we're going to be adding some super cool effects. We have got a leech sword, we have got a poison sword, we have got a wither sword and we've even got this wind sword. Look, you can call these whatever you want but let, let me quickly show you what they could do. So the poison sword, self-explanatory. It poisons them. The wither sword. Look at that. He's withered. The wind sword. Yes. Be sent up into the skies. And if I go into survival, look at this. I'm hurt. I need health. What can I do? I can leech health. Look at that. Off of these guys. Whilst killing them. You're going to shoot me as well? Boom. I can leech your health off you, mate. It might be a little bit overpowered. You can tinker around with it. But let's have a look at how they're done. So, get yourself into bridge. And this is obviously carrying on from the custom sword video that I made. So, I've got my red sword here that I made before. Everything's good. Everything's fine. But we want to add some of those really cool effects. Now, if I go over to my resource pack and into my textures folder and then items, you can see here that I've already added all of these different swords or at least the textures okay so i've added all of those textures into the texture folder just like when we were doing the items no difference to that we go into item texture and you can see here that i've got all of my extra swords so in terms of getting the textures in and assigning the textures that is done okay but what i'm going to do i'm going to close this red sword for now we're going to go back into behavior packs and then in our items folder where we have our custom sword from before i'm if you guys want to just edit your current sword that's fine right but if you're going to want to make more than one then follow this next step with me so red sword i'm going to right click and i'm going to go to duplicate okay and then i'm going to change that red so one of them i've got called a poison sword okay and i'm going to confirm that and then inside in description identifier i'm going to change that that red sword is obviously going to become poison and we've got a couple of other things to change as well the icon we need to change because it's not a red sword it's our poison sword and our display name again isn't red sword it's poison sword so as easy as that I've just made a second sword. Okay, it's going to have the new texture. I'm even going to show you it in-game quickly. Okay, so here I am in my creative world from last episode. Oh, look at the cute little horsey. Hello. Get distracted. Um, but if we go into our creative menu, we go into the swords, and we should see I've now got... So I've got my red sword, and I've now got this poison sword. But as it stands... It's exactly the same as the red one. It just looks different. It's not going to do anything special. There's no poison. And this now is where I need to add those effects. So back into bridge. We're going to open our poison sword. And then this is really, really easy. But I'm going to do a few of them just to show you. So it's basically in events, right? When the damage event is called, we're going to click add object. And we're going to do add mob effect. Okay. So we have our damage here. Which is obviously taking the durability off our sword. But I've also got add mob effect. And then in here. We've got a few different options. Okay. So you can see we've got effect. Which is what sort of effect. So we're going to be using poison. We've got the target. Which will be whatever we're hitting. The duration, which is how long that's going to last. And then the amplifier as to how strong that poison is. So let's go through each one. So we've got effect. And I'm going to look for poison. And here you have two options. You have fatal poison or just poison. So normally poison will leave you or a mob on half a heart. Fatal poison, as it says, it, it will be fatal. It will take you to or the mob that you're hitting it will end up poisoning them to death. So I'm just going to use the normal poison for now. I'm then going to go back in, add the target, and the target is going to be other. Okay, holder being 
the player themselves. So you as the player holding the sword. We don't want to actually give that poison effect to you. We want to give it to the other. So that other mob that we're hitting. We're going to go back in. The duration. Okay, so this is how long that poison's going to last. And I'm thinking, let's go for three seconds. Okay. And then back into add objects, we're going to go amplifier. And this is how strong that poison is going to be. So I'm not going to make it too powerful. I'm going to put that at one. Okay. I'm then going to make sure I save. Go back into the game. And now that poison effect should be working. So let's see. And there you go. He's got that poison effect, but he's actually already on half a heart. So he's, he stopped taking damage. Let's check out this cow. Cal might have a bit more health. So you can see there that he took damage for a little while afterwards. Now, what you've got to bear in mind, if you're going to try this out yourself, if I go and nab a zombie egg, so spawn zombie, okay, I'm going to set the time, time set, night. Okay, let's... Let's make sure we type that properly. Time set night. We're going to bring out a zombie. Okay, the poison will not work on the zombies. Because poison doesn't work on the undead. So it won't work on the zombies. It won't work on the skeletons. It will probably work on this enderman though. Let's give that a quick test. It, he knows what's coming. He doesn't want to be tested on. And you can see there, he's now going crazy. He got poisoned. Doesn't last very long. We could make that longer and we could make it more powerful, but we'll leave it like that for now. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in and just show you one more sword. Um, just because there is something else that is really cool that we can do that you would have seen at the start of the video. So back into bridge. Okay. And I'm going to close the poison sword. And I'm actually going to duplicate that. So Poison Sword is now going to become Leech Sword. And the reason I want to show you this one separately is because of the way that the effect works. Okay, so let's go in. Let's go Description. We need to change our identifier because it's not Poison Sword. It's a Leech Sword. Okay, we need to go down to the icon and again... The icon that we're using isn't the poison sword icon. It is the leech sword. We need to change the display name. Because otherwise in game it's still going to say poison. And that's that. So just like before when we made turn the red one into the poison. We've changed basically all of them references. The identifier, the texture and the value. Now what... I want to show you is is this add mob effects so the idea with the leech sword is that you are going to steal health from whatever you're hitting so this mob effect here let's I'm actually going to delete this and we're going to start this again so in the damage we're going to go for add mob effect the effect itself is going to be let's do regeneration okay I'm then going to go target and this time the target will be the holder the duration will make it last two seconds and the amplifier will set that at two as well these numbers just like the poison one play around with yeah you might want something stronger you might not but here's where it's going to get tricky so i'm going to save that and we're going to go into the game okay i'm going to go into my world and then I'm going to grab an item frame. Okay. And actually, I think this might even be a thing with armor stands. And there'll be a couple of other things that this will be a, a thing for. Let me just grab some blocks as well. So, have a look at this. Right. If I go and hit... Hold on. Let's nab our sword first. So, there we go. There's our leech sword. Okay. I'm going to hit this zombie. Hold on. Let's go game mode S. And you can see up in the corner there. For that moment, I am getting regeneration. You can't see it on my health because I'm obviously already at full health. But it's definitely a thing. 
Now, if I pop this down here and I hit it. Hold on, maybe I need to put something in it. But basically. Ah, there we go. Do you see that? When I break that item, that item frame even, can you see up in the corner we're getting that regen effect, which we shouldn't be getting. Now, it also happens when we break blocks, which is a bit of an issue. Now, this wasn't an issue on the poison one, purely because you can't poison a block. You can't poison an item frame. But what's happening is, is when we're damaging... You can, see, you can see there, I'm hitting... This is an entity. Okay, we're not dealing damage to it, but we're hitting it. And it's it's activating that event. You can see that basically I could just use an armor stand to just regen all my health. So it's a little bit overpowered. It's a little bit broken. Okay, you may want that as a thing. But I'm going to show you how to fix that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go save and quit. We're going to come out and we are going to go back into bridge. And what we're going to basically do is create ourselves a new event. Um, so what we want to do is go back through and work out where have we called that event so far. So in Minecraft Weapon, we've got On Hurt Entity Event DMG. Okay, and then Not Hurt Entity DMG and On Hit Block DMG. So as that stands, if we hit an entity, yes, we're activating this damage. That's fine, apart from um, the armor stand, maybe. No, the armor stand would be under on not hurt entity. So we're going to want to change how this works. So what I'm going to do is this event here called DMG, right? I'm going to leave. But what I'm going to do is when it's on not hurt entity, I'm going to change that DMG to Dura, okay, that I feel like that makes sense, so we're, we're going to take durability, on hit block, again, we're going to do Dura, and down in the digger category as well, in the digger component, on dig, event, we're going to change that damage to Dura, and in the destroy speeds, the same again with both of these, on dig, event, Dura, and again here as well, Dura. So what's happening, excuse me, what's happening there is, is we have, if we're breaking things like bamboo, webs, blocks, whatever, we're using this new Dura event that I'm about to create. Whereas if we're hurting an entity, we're using the damage event. Okay. So now down in events. I'm going to add a new one. And we're going to call that obviously Dura. And then here is basically we want to copy this damage category. And I'm, I'm literally going to copy that. I'm going to right click. We're going to go copy. And then in Dura I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go paste. And there you go. We've, we've added that back in. So now, when the DMG, when that damage event is called for, we get the mob effect. Okay, we get the regeneration. But otherwise, the Dura event is going to be called. So I'm going to save that. And we'll actually go back in. And I'll just show that off, basically. And you can see there, I'm not getting that regeneration come up in the corner now. If I break that, it's not happening. If I actually break the block with it, you can see I'm not getting that regeneration up in the corner. Yet, if I come over here, kill that sheep, you can see for that brief moment, I'm getting the regeneration. Okay? And the good thing about this as well, is what you can actually do if I go back into bridge, you can actually change. So the damage from if it's breaking a block, you could actually set that higher. Because normally, if you break a block with a tool that isn't the correct tool, it will do double the amount of damage. Okay, so you can see there, amount 2. And that means that if I'm breaking blocks and stuff with the sword, it's going to do twice the amount of damage. 
Um, and then the other swords that I showed off at the beginning, I've actually got in a separate folder here. So you can see the leech sword, which is spelled wrong, but it still works. Um, we've got the poison sword and then I've got this wind sword, which here, the mob effect is levitation. Okay. And then my wither sword, which the effect is obviously wither. So have a play around. There's quite a few different mob effects, some that are positive, some that are negative. But I definitely recommend have a good play around with them and yeah, create create some cool new weapons and just have fun messing about with all the different stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! You gotta love it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you found it helpful, please hit that like button on the way out. And until next time, take care, stay cool, bye bye.